Okay, this mirror is wicked dirty. Um, that's like in, like that's like the look all over Instagram. Everything's like dusty and like crappy looking. Like that's the vibe. Well, maybe not that vibe. How does that? How do they even get out of mirror like this? I don't know. Um, shirt says something very true. Running out of wine is my cardio. Nailed it. So um, today I'm gonna be vlogging because you guys keep asking for the vlog. So I don't even know what I'm doing today. Uh, so we'll just, you know, see where life takes us. I definitely do have to get my nails done though because they are freaking disgustingly grown out. I have gone three weeks. I usually go three weeks every single time, but this is like a sheer color though, so you can really see the griminess. And I need a pedicure because, yeah. So that's where we're at today. I think I might pick up some plants and maybe some like outdoor stuff for like our patio. Well, we don't really have a patio. It's like just like a deck, but yeah. So I'm gonna be doing that. Also, I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so last time I went to get my LaCroix water, they were all out of like all the flavors I ever would want. So I ended up getting this. This is the Poland Springs one. And the packaging isn't as cute, but this flavor, you guys, is so good. It's pomegranate lemonade, and I am obsessed with it. So definitely my new summer drink, even though, you know, I love the Lacroix stuff. I still don't know how to say it, so don't make fun of me. Um, it's good. Can't resist it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Does anyone else continue to drive <laughs> when their dash looks like this? How low are we is the question. Let's see. We have 37 miles. Dude, I could drive all day. I'm not worried. I worry about nothing. I just got my nails done. Look how friggin' pretty this baby pink is. It's called Hot Summer Pink Gel Dip Powder. ANC is the brand. So. What is on my face? Do I have like stuff on my face? I don't know. Dippin' Donuts. The better alternative to Dunkin' Donuts. Heard that right, folks. Hi, um, can I get a small iced coffee with almond milk and sugar-free caramel? You got a small iced coffee with almond milk and sugar-free caramel? Can I get you ready to go? Uh, yeah, can I also get a ham, egg white, and cheese on an English muffin? You got it. Anything else for today? Nope, that's it. All right, so 728, please pump. Thank you. Never look at yourself from this angle because you'll see how unsymmetrical you really are. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. You too. Yeah. Is it just me? Or like from a distance, this kind of looks like it could be Donald Trump. Maybe it's because I don't have my glasses on. But from where I'm sitting, Donald Trump might be at Macy's. Update, that man looked nothing like Donald Trump upon closer inspection. I'm sorry, that's an insult. I literally want all of this for my birthday. I don't even know what any of these things are, but I feel like I need them. Like I need that plate. I don't know why. Look how cute these are. Um, hello. <gasps> Guacamole. I need this. I just do. Do you think they make that in Rose's size? <laughs> Look how cute these watches are. Jessica Simpson. This is just like the clearance section. They come in black too. They're too high for me though. How cute are these pearl sandals? Do I need them? I feel like I might. Okay, I need these more. Look at how blingy they are. They're not my size, but so cute. They were all out of that one. It was the only pair. So now I'm looking at these. I like the lilac color. So I didn't buy anything, but I don't even really know why I went in there. <laughs> Whenever they don't have something in my size, I just take it as a sign that it wasn't meant to be. I wasn't meant to have that shoe. If I come across it again in life, then yeah. So now we're entering the motherland. 
take my money, honey. So it's always dangerous when you get a car because then you can just fill her up. But also Target, please get cup holders. I don't know if you know, it's 2018. And I'm treating him like a child. I'm not gonna do the pants. I just I bought it's like gonna start pouring any second now, so I'm just gonna not do the plants. And Target had literally none of the things that I visualized, so um, of course I bought a bunch of stuff that I didn't um, plan on buying, but what I set out to get, I did not find, so I just bought other stuff instead. <laughs> we literally never have traffic backed up ever in the history of this area. And I knew that this was gonna be like this, but I just totally forgot. And now I've been doing this for like 20 minutes. I, this is why I live where I live because I can't do this. I cannot do this. Usually if you're like stuck waiting in traffic, it's not actually traffic that you're waiting on. It's usually like a farmer on their tractor that you can't pass or there's like cows crossing. <laughs> not like legit, you know, traffic. Okay, so really quickly, I'll show you guys what I got. So I got this for dinner tonight. I got some zucchini, some bell peppers, a jar of pesto. Obviously, you can make your own, but uh, I don't feel like doing that. I also got a bag of the raw jumbo shrimp. So I'm going to make pesto shrimp skewers if it doesn't start pouring. Um, I also got these protein bars. These are the Ali ones. I tried the chocolate coconut one last week and I really liked it. So I decided to get the peanut butter chocolate one this time. They are plant-based. Uh, 15 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber. And yeah, so I'm gonna try this flavor out. Then I got this sunscreen. And yeah, I changed into my bathrobe if you haven't noticed. This is the Bear Republic Citrus Cooler sunscreen. This is a mineral sunscreen. So I've been wanting to try a mineral sunscreen for the body. I've currently been using a face run from Dr. Paracone. So that's everything I got over here. Then, this is what I'm looking like right now. I already changed in my bathroom. Don't ask why. There's not a reason. I just, I felt suffocated. So I put on my fuzzy bathroom. So then a few things from Target also are, I got two pairs of shoes. So I ended up not getting any of the shoes from Macy's, but I found two pairs of shoes from Target that I really love. And both of them combined are cheaper than one of the pairs at Macy's. So I'll show you guys. The first are these really cute black slides and they have pearls on them they're so cute just like a way to wear flats that is a little bit more dressy um i don't wear heels like really that often so i like to wear like a dressier flat if i can then i got these white sandals they're not super high i have really bad ankles like i had a really bad ankle sprain in high school so i just really can't do a high heel but this one this is probably like i don't know what three inches and it's so cute and comfortable on so I'm definitely excited to wear these because I don't have any white heels so I got those I got these high-waisted kind of beige linen pants I thought this would be really cute just to you know throw on very lightweight that linen kind of material and then I also got white ones so these again are linen pants this one has like a cute little tie detail which I like and these I think are like a cropped style so more of like a cool lot if you will but um, I didn't try either of them on so I don't know if they'll actually look good and then I ordered this randomly <laughs> the other day I saw it online in my size and I was like you know I'm just gonna get it so this is obviously a splurge but my birthday is coming up so you know happy birthday to SML so I've been wanting a Gucci belt for forever and they've been sold out like in pretty much all the sizes but I saw this online the other day and I was like you know I'm just gonna get it so this is the thin one um, I didn't want any of the thick ones just because I have such a short torso and like a thick one will just like break up my body too much so I got this one in this brown color and it actually fits super perfect I got the size 70 which I believe is for a size 0 or like a 25 inch waist and it fits perfect so I got it from the S sense website so I'm really pumped about that. So I just put that uh, new mineral sunscreen that I got from Target all over my body. And it won't rub in. 
So now it looks like I have kind of like pinkish, grayish skin. Very sticky. I feel like I just jumped in a vat of marshmallow fluff. Like it's so sticky and white. And um, I just went outside and a swarm of bugs just landed on me and also got stuck in the fluff. Would not recommend. So if you have a good mineral sunscreen that you would recommend for the body, I have a good one for the face, but for the body, help me out. Because this, this is not working. Okay, so my shrimp are all thawed, so I'm just gonna take this whole jar of pesto, and again, if you did homemade, then obviously, you know, make your own, and then marinate it. Um, it's like five o'clock right now and it probably won't eat till at least like seven. So um, you basically just want to cover all of the shrimp in the pesto. Then I'm just going to cover this and put it in the fridge and let it marinate for like an hour or two. So I cut up all my vegetables. I didn't show that because I almost chopped my finger off. But um, then I'm just going to make a marinade. I don't like measure anything. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and put it in this pan. It's just whatever I have clean. So first I'm going to do a little bit of olive oil. Then I'm going to do... A few dashes of Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of soy sauce. And like I said, I'm literally just making this up. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of balsamic vinegar, or a lot. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add a bunch of garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic too, but um, I'm all out, so I'm just gonna add a bunch of garlic powder. And then I'm just adding some Italian seasoning. And then I just take all the veggies and I put them in there. You can use like a Ziploc bag or like whatever you have, but I don't have any of those. I wasn't prepared, so then obviously just mix it all up. Just gonna top it off with a little bit more balsamic. I'm also gonna put just a little bit of lemon juice in there too. And there you have it. So again, I'm gonna cover that, put it in the fridge, let it marinate until I am ready to cook everything on the grill. Look okay, what I just got in the mail. This is like sunshine in a bottle. Hashtag bronzy drops, hashtag vacation face, and it's from Drunk Elephants, so I am pumped. Do you guys get afraid when I have a knife in my hand? <laughs> like, are you worried right now? Oh my god, stop it. Okay, um, bye guys, I'm going to the beach. See ya. Look at this bag. Let's see what's inside. Like, how cute is this? Oh, and then now the other side is the little drunk elephant man. So we've got bags on bags on bags. Let's see what's in here. So this is their new product. It's called the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. Says like a shot of sunshine without the damaging effects. Add to your drunk elephant serum or moisturizer for a gorgeous glow. Antioxidants and omega fatty acids. So let's see what this looks like on my hand. So there it is on my hand. Let me just blend it out. So, okay, it just adds like a little bit of a bronze tint. That's pretty cool. I wish I had this before my bronze video that I just did, but that's pretty cool. It's awesome in there. They have the Daily Defense, which I'm not a huge fan of. It feels very heavy on the skin, but it is mineral. Um, and then also the uh, Marula Face Oil. Ooh, and then also in there we have this really cute little um, beach towel, beach blanket kind of thing. I love the colors on this. So I must say I'm pretty excited to try this because, as you guys know, um, my face is always way lighter than the rest of my body because I'm very diligent about face sunscreen. Um, body sunscreen, if I know that I'm going to be outside a lot, I will always put it on. But if I'm just like outside randomly, a lot of the times I forget to put sunscreen on. But on my face, I literally never forget it. So that's why my face is always more pale. So I'm excited to try these out. Okay, so then you want to take the shrimp and put them on skewers. Right, Rose? Like Edward hands. Oh, and if you use wooden skewers, you have to make sure that they are soaked in water. Otherwise, they will burst into flames. <laughs> Not speaking from experience at all, 
um, but I never remember to do that, so I just got metal ones, and you don't have to do that, so. And for the vegetables, I just have this, like, little grill pan. I think I got it at, like, Walmart or something. And then while those are on the grill, um, I'm just going to make this in the microwave. I actually tried one of these the other night, uh, the risotto one, and it was really good. So I'm going to try this one. This is the uh, rice vegetable pilaf, so it's supposed to be, like, rice pilaf. And I just got it at the grocery store. This is what the nutrition facts look like. But obviously just uh, like a low-carb alternative to rice. So I have the vegetables on the grill. It'll take like probably 15-20 minutes depending on like what vegetables you use. And you want to kind of like stir it. The shrimp isn't going on yet. That literally takes like no time at all. Um, maybe like 5 minutes or so just until it's like opaque. But yeah, I'm gonna stir those in a little bit. I can't. <laughs> Chef Steph back in action. Look at that charred goodness. So yummy. All done. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> now it's time for a nice glass of wine. Get it. Get that. Rosie, you sharing your bone? <laughs> Looks so fun. <laughs> Daz, your brat. 